Friday morning and at Leslie Hall in Surrey, there are reports that a dangerous dog has been terrorising the ground staff. This is a job for one man and one man only, dog behaviourist Stan Rawlinson. Who's that bitch? What we're going to do is we're going to have a look at Stockton who suddenly started showing aggression and he's bit seven people in the last three weeks. It's not strangers, it's uh, mostly people who work on the estate and who Stockton knows. I, I would think if, we, if, if he'd bitten us, then it would have been um, almost immediately one-way visit to the vet. I make groundsman for the house and I look after all the lawns and the grounds around the house. And uh, the morning it happened, I just come in the back door, spoke to Stockton, stroked him, then walked to talk to Sarah in the kitchen when he came up behind me and nipped me behind the leg. Well, my name's Bernie, I'm the head gardener and I work at Lowesley Park here. And um, I was just coming in to take some cuttings out of the back of the house. I'd come through the gate and um, just turned around with me back to the dog um, to lock the gate and that's when he came up and gave me a nip on the back of the legs. With the domestics living in fear, his lordship has been forced to lock up the ferocious canine in the basement. I'm going to go and get my, the dog on my own because it's a fairly narrow area around here. All, all of these big houses have got uh, narrow passageways and things like that. It's just a whole crew down there made the dog a little bit nervous, a little bit anxious, a uh, little bit concerned. Uh, I'll go and get it and bring it out here and we'll have a look at it at that particular time. Good luck, sir. Thanks a lot. Okay, this is Stockton, also affectionately known as Stocky. Stan Rawlinson is now using his own anti-ankle biting mind tricks on Stockton. Top secret techniques that require great subtlety and refinement. Don't think this will stop me, Stan. I gnaw through bone. It's only a matter of time. I'm coming for you, Stan. I know where you live.